let us presume that you could have done a lot of things at the end of the 90s. Uh, there were orchestras all over the world that would love to have you. You chose to come here to Chicago to become the music director of the Lyric. Why? Out of all the things you could have done, and there were a lot of them, why this? Well, uh, I first came here in 1987 to conduct Marriage of Figaro in a production by Sir Peter Hall that started life at Cambridge. And I knew him well. We hadn't worked much together at that, up, up to that point. We had a fantastic cast. And just coming to work here for the first time, and you've, you'll have heard this from many people, singers, conductors, directors, designers, the feeling when you step into this house is you're coming into a family. And that's something that we're very proud of. So there are many artists who, who come back here time again because they love the atmosphere. That, that is, I think it's perhaps from, I don't know of another opera house, and I've, uh, you know, I've conducted quite a few that have quite that sense of, of pride and delight uh, and the sense of we're all tremendously privileged to do this. You know, that we come here because we love opera and we, and we come here because we want to actually make the best opera that we can where everything goes right and <laughs> you know. Every department has great respect for the others. So whether it's the orchestra, the chorus, uh, wigs department, the dresses, the stage hands. So th this sense of everyone in the company and all the, you know, the people upstairs caring for and you know, nourishing all the relations within the company itself. Right. I think you know, this, is, uh, this is what's so important.